Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There are some prices in the FIFA 23 market that are kind of getting destroyed right now on this game. And I don't think I expected to see these prices going down as much as they have in the past day. I want to talk about that in today's video. And some other fantasy foot cards are starting to rise, especially out of packs cards. We'll take a look at that. And will there be an opportunity to still buy those cards for them potentially to go up further, even with a lot of stuff coming in the future, maybe including an icon player pick or something along those lines today? It's Sunday, right? These are normally days where we get packs like that. We'll look at all the Sunday content you could expect to see today and how it could impact the market and maybe an opportunity to invest. If you're excited for today's video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new around here and you have not, subscribe to the channel. Let's first do a little content roundup. From yesterday on Saturday, it was kind of a slow day, yes, but we had a really good value SBC again. Throwback one week ago, we had the Alja Bear uh, Fantasy Hero card, and yesterday we had that Gomez player pick, right? Mario Gomez, the two options that you get to choose uh, between the Serie A card and between the Bundesliga card, and according to Football, been. I mean, this is fantastic value. I know it's not the most meta player. I know he's a part of Truck FC, but he got a five-star weak foot upgrade, and it's only 100,000 coins, and it does get live upgrades. So that's the nice part about it. I think EA, um, you know, a lot of, some down votes here, 700 uh, versus 1,500 upvotes on the Serie A card. To me, it seems like this one's the most popular, as people expect. Fiorentina, uh, that the upgrades are based on for this Gomez to have a better chance at getting upgrades than the Stuttgart version. Of course, if this was Bayern, probably would be a bit of a different story, but this SBC yesterday is really good value. If you want it, do it. If you don't, then you can skip it, right? It's a nice one though. Five-star weak foot upgrade is pretty cool, and it does have some pretty crazy shooting stats. He's a lengthy striker, so a finisher, right? That's just kind of who he is, uh, and a the most usable and, I guess, the second upgraded Gomez card we've had this year, so not bad there, but since this SBC was such good value, we had a lot of strikers on yesterday's game, especially a lot of hero strikers dropping in value. Take a look at Peter Crouch out of packs, right? Five-star skills, not enough hype on this Crouch card to keep him up in price. People were selling him yesterday from 235k all the way down to 190. He's back up just a little bit. He's right around 200,000 coins at the moment. I was able to pick one up at 185 just because it's Crouch, five-star skills. You know, I feel like that card still could bounce back a little bit. And again, it's a live card. What's not to like about that? So a lot of strikers are down, though. We take a look through a few more. Uh, Voller's base hero card uh, was 77K yesterday. Went all the way down to 67,000 coins. Even some of the cards in packs for Fantasy Team 2. Look at Morientes, 229. His card to start the day off yesterday, he was 350. He's down over 100,000 coins, partially due to just the normal Saturday sell-off, but he's down extra, in my opinion, because of the Gomez. Same thing with Papan, 223,000 coins for him. He was like, you know, 200 highs yesterday on the market as well. So that was like the biggest part of yesterday's content. We also had an SBC uh, that was for a tradable pack, the Anticipate SBC. I think this is one of the reasons that did drop the market a little bit yesterday. We'll talk about that here in a second, or at least drop some specific cards. But we did have a mini release yesterday as well with Subasly, um, with Tagliafico, and with Ricky Puig. And to be honest, Subasly looks decent. Tagliafico looks decent. Ricky P looks decent. They're all pretty cheap cards. Nothing super crazy going on with those guys, uh, but it is nice. We kind of knew who they were. Uh, we obviously knew who was going to be in the menu release. We knew from the leaks, but all these guys are below 60K. The most expensive one is Tagliafico, uh, which again, I look at this card and I say, EA, if you would have only given him some base stats um, with some better pace, like if this guy had, even if it was like 89 pace off the start, I think that would make this card just so much better, but it's not a bad card. Three star, three star is not the best. Medium high, um, not the best work rates, I guess you could say either, depending on what you want out of a left back. But 65K for him does have some decent links. So keep an eye on this card. This will be one, especially with how short of a time span these cards are in packs. It makes sense why EA had to drop the mini release yesterday instead of today on Monday, because a reminder again, all of these cards, the Fantasy Foot Team 2 and the Heroes, are leaving packs 
on Wednesday. It's really weird, and we're going to have to cover that situation as we get towards the end of the week. Um, but that's kind of something that I guess EA had to do the mini-release earlier so they could get these guys in packs. But the mini-release cards are always a little bit more rare. So that's something to remember for Taglifico, Subasly, and Ricky Puig. Now, let's talk about these price drops because, yes, prices are dropping on this game. It's not everywhere. It's not a market crash. But some of the price drops that we have seen on the impacts fantasy team two cards in the past 24 hours is actually insane jota yesterday i sold him for 429,000 coins actually you know what 427 i think it was it might still be on my transfer list i sold that after uh, i posted the video last night yeah 427 and now he is 280 he was even 270 at one point cards in this promo team have absolutely died uh in price since yesterday a lot more than I thought they were going to, like a ton more. Like Eden Hazard was 800,000 coins. Uh, we always know that promo cards drop on day two, right? We talk about that every single week, and it's something that we do see just about every single week. Hazard is 620,000 coins. He was 580 a couple hours ago. He's actually up a little bit. The list and the names go on. The price drops uh, continue. Emre Chan was 320,000 coins. Uh, hello, Emre Chan, 220K right now, you know? So why do these cards go down so much? Well, I think there's a couple of things. First of all, on Saturdays, they always drop, right? We always talk about it. People get their foot champs rewards. They open. These cards get packed a bit more. And people maybe get towards the end of their foot champs games. And if they were trying out Hazard, trying out Chan, Diogo Jota, any of these cards, they might have gone and sold the card just for trying it out. And, of course, that drives the market down a little bit. More pack supply from the lightning rounds that are dropped on Saturdays, of course. Um, and just kind of a normal drop off on these cards and people's interest in them maybe drops a little bit from the Friday of them trying them out in weekend league as well. Uh, but I mean, really yesterday, like it was a lot more than expected. Usually you see like, you know, 10% drop offs in price, but like 800 K down to 580. Like it's crazy how much these guys dropped off. Now, a couple other things that impacted it. We did mention there was a tradable prime electron players pack in the store yesterday. This is a must do SBC. 4,000 coins is like really cheap for a pretty big pack of tradable value. And I think that impacted a lot of these cards, but you know, like the pack weight's not that insane, right? No, it's not. So I really just think a lot of people were selling these cards off yesterday. The combination of um, the pack supply that we saw, those two things together really, I guess, made these guys drop off so much. And you know, this promo team is not seen as the most insane promo team ever. And especially if for Hazard's case, you know, you think about his potential to get upgrades is not that good. Uh, Liverpool lost yesterday. That could have factored into G Diogo Jota's price, even though the cards don't get upgraded until the 17th or play in matches that can get them upgraded. People just equate these cards since they're live to the real life form of the club. And that could affect some of these prices as well. We also had a a lot of store packs yesterday. We had the 400,000 coin premium priv privet pack that is back in the game. Uh, this could be another reason why prices are down a lot, uh, just because it would maybe drain some more coins. I know these are all untradeable, but people open these types of packs with coins just to gamble. And uh, then after that, maybe they have to go sell some cards, right, to go what, do whatever they have to do. Or maybe they sold cards to go buy that pack. You wouldn't believe how much that sort of stuff happens on this game and in this market. So it's just crazy to see how much those guys dropped off. And it's not just um, the fantasy foot cards. Those cards had bigger percentage drop-offs, but even some of these cards, uh, the Fantasy Foot Heroes, we looked at the Papan and the Morientes, right? Those guys are down. Park Ji Sung is down a little bit. You know, for an outlook on these cards, am I like looking at these and I'm saying, like, do I need to invest now because they're down so much? No, that's not what I'm looking at when I see these cards like Emre Chan and when I see Eden Hazard down this low or Ruben Diaz. I'm not looking to invest in these cards. What really now has happened is these guys have gone from prices that were probably just too inflated from it being the first day or two that they were in packs and in the game uh, to like literally believable prices. Now it's like, okay, Ruben Diaz is 860,000 coins. He's actually going up. He was just like 820. But, you know, Eden Hazard is now only 600K instead of 800K or Emre Chan instead of being 300 is now 200. These prices are a lot more believable, right? Heading throughout this weekend now after you've seen the price drops, even though they're a bit more than we expected, 
um, you know, I still don't think this is an opportunity to invest unless it's just for the short term for a quick flip, right? You might be able to buy, maybe it's Jota, maybe it's Chan, maybe it's Hazard or Ruben Diaz, like you've saw, seen right there. Ruben Diaz was just 820. He's going back up. These cards would, good, would be good to trade with and to flip with in the short term. But with more content coming today, more, you know, leaks and information about the next promo with a lot of hype for Foot Birthday still out there as well. I don't think this is the lowest point. I just think we have seen some pretty crazy drop offs. Um, just because of the way the cards played yesterday in this game. That's just kind of like a looking at these prices standpoint and not investing right now, but just seeing how much they've dropped off. It looks, if you look at this promo team of players, like it looks really investable. You've got a lot of great players in there like Diogo Jota, Emre Chan, Ben Acer, um, and even some lower tier ones. Like, you know, we mentioned Benteke in yesterday's video. DeMarcos could be investable. Matoma could be investable as well. Um, it just looks good for investing you know, but just not at the moment, right? I think we're going to see some prices still go a little bit lower, whether it's today on Sunday or into the week a little bit before they go out of packs, maybe even after they go out of packs a little bit. But this week is going to be very crucial to keep an eye on these cards because they will rise at some point as they go out of packs and as they get closer to their potential time to upgrade. Now, speaking of prices going up, yes, these cards dropped, but the other Foot Fantasy cards, not all of them, some of them though, have started to rise. Look at Saliba. 1.28 million coins. He was 1 million coins, 1.1 on Friday. He has gone up a lot in price. And a lot of these guys, it's been in the past, you know, 24 hours. It's not all of them. Scriniar is barely up. Fabian, 340. He is up like, you know, 30, 40,000 coins a card. That's a big rise. Sanchez is up like 30K. Isak, though, you know, with the striker dropping yesterday with the Gomez, he's just kind of around the same mark. He is up a little, but he's only up 10K. I would not consider this to be up that much. Uh, there's still, you know, a lot of potential in these cards. But what I would say is if you've seen a card that you wanted to buy, that you haven't bought yet, or you maybe want to make an investment in one of these guys since they're out of packs, today could be a decent opportunity to do that. If we have another big sort of icon or hero pack or player pick, like remember last week what happened? A lot of these cards dropped off and a lot of the whole market in general dropped off. And we bought a bunch of stuff last Sunday just because of the hero player pick that was dropped caused, uh, it just kind of wreaked havoc on the market and it caused a lot of prices to drop on this game. So watch for that same sort of scenario today if we get a really good pack and that could open up another opportunity to invest in these cards. And the same thing goes for if we get leaks and we get a lot of foot birthday information in the next couple of days, if there's more panic selling on these, great opportunity to get in because they are live, but wait for some sort of catalyst, like a pack today or some leaks or something like that before I think going back in on these cards for most of them at least, especially the ones that are already up. Now, speaking of that content today, Let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about the potential for EA to drop an SBC today, which, you know, I think is very possible. The only thing we're unsure of is what are they going to do? Because this is expiring today. The one of five, the base or World Cup hero player pick, it's going away. See, it expires in 14 hours. The companion app says that it's like going to refresh in four days. It's wrong. It's so weird. Um, the timers between companion apps sometimes and here in the game. They're just messed up. EA, maybe look into that, please. Like, please do it. Fix it. But, you know, this is going away today. Sundays are days we usually get these sort of packs. We don't have any new packs in the code, though. So, what I'm still thinking about is a player pick. And I kind of hope that they don't do a hero player pick. Because that one, unless they're going to re-release this exact same hero player pick, like, unless they're going to make it a only hero, like, I don't know if they're going to do another one. I know there's heroes, like, right now in the game. It just kind of feels like they might go back to the icon way. Might go back to an icon player pick, right? The mid-icon player pick was out a couple of weeks ago. Today would be a perfect opportunity for EA to drop a mid or prime player pick, which I think a lot of people would be very, very interested in. It would be a bit more expensive. So the question is, regardless of what SBC we get today, whether it's a hero, whether it's an icon pack, player pick, whatever, can we invest? I think the opportunity there, uh, the answer there is yes, there is an opportunity to invest. And that pack, that tradable supply yesterday actually dropped some fodder prices a little bit more to maybe make this even bit, a bit of a sweeter investment. 83 is 1.7K. If you want to go for the low tier, these did really well last week. They are down. 84s are nearing 4,000 coins. That's a pretty good buy. 85s, I'd be careful with 86s. 
I'd be careful with as well. These are still inflated. Specifically, 85s are still inflated because that hero player pick is there, uh, and they just went up a ton last week, right? So, you know, I've actually gone out and done a bit of a club stock on some of the higher tier stuff. I went in on some 91s. You guys know I like the 91s because... If there is a player pick today, remember what happened uh, during that showdown series promo when you had the player pick and the 89 plus. These guys were all like 75, 80,000 coins by the time we got to the end of that promo. So I'm not saying they're going to go that high. I'm just saying it might be a good opportunity to do a club stock. Some of these cards are already up a little bit. 88s were like 27K, I think on uh friday and even yesterday on saturday yeah 27k on friday uh just below 28 and then yeah you can see even a couple times yesterday on saturday as well 28 27 000 coins probably on bids i would say it's a good time to do a club stock if you have not already i know a lot of people are investing in the high rated fodder because there's potential here right there's potential for an icon player pick or a pack today or a hero player pick or a pack that would have high rated squads inside of it and there's also that, you know, outside shot for a player of the month, Mbappe, which will be dropping later this next week, most likely. And if we get leaks for that on Monday, Tuesday, with the SBC probably coming later in the week, that could mean these cards would potentially rise up more as you would expect Mbappe, just like it was last time to be pretty expensive. So that's why there's potential with this high rated fodder, 87 and above. Pick the rating you want or just do a club stock of all of them uh, if you want to go in on it. Uh, you know, it, it just feels like that's where I would want to gamble this week with fodder. At the very worst, let's say like there's no big pack that comes out today or maybe it doesn't come out until tomorrow on Monday or maybe there's no big pack at all this week, right? You, with fodder, you're not risking too much, especially on the high tier. Like buying 91s right now, like 59,000 coins, 58,000 coins, I've picked up... Um, a good chunk of, you know, Lewandowski, De Bruyne, and Messi. Not any Messi's yet. I need, to, I need to snag a couple of Messi's if possible. But, you know, he's usually a bit more um, than the other fodder cards at this level. Uh, but, you know, there's literally not that much risk here because at the very least, you go down, what, like three to 4,000 coins. So if you're investing in a couple of them, you're doing a club stock, you know, there is going to be a time where they go up. It's a matter of when you know, not if. So that's kind of the fodder investment I like. Also, again, like I mentioned, you could go in on the low tier. If you think EA is going to drop another pack this week, like an 84 plus times five or some sort of other little campaign player pick, you know, some of that, some good like that. 1.5K on bid for 83s is fan freaking tastic, right? I know we do not have the 82 plus player pick uh, for the Nuno Tavares, that is no longer out in, in this game right now. And as you may have noticed, 82s absolutely kind of died in price as well yesterday. Like 82s have been 1,000 coins plus for the past like month on this game with that SB, or with that objective and SBC combo there. These are now down. It's pushed 83s a little bit lower too, which is why I love the investment in the 83s. If we were to get something this week with 84 rated squads or another like 85, you know, requirement and then an 84 squad, which makes the 83s a lot more usable. I think there's good potential there as well. So I like the low tier. I like the really high tier, the stuff in between the 85s and 86s maybe not as much but who knows ea could release uh, an sbc that requires 85s and those guys would go up a lot so that's kind of what's up for today on content that's the biggest uh potential piece of content today i do believe we're going to get a player sbc i mean usually the weekends they drop player sbcs and we don't have an official leak for it but we kind of do at the same time because if you read between the lines here all of these players that were listed in the code that scoreboard tweeted out last week, there is a Gomez and there is a Rashika. Well, Rashika plays for Galatasaray uh, in the Super League. That is absolutely an SBC that could be coming. And this Gomez one is a lot of people are questioning, like, who is this going to be? I think we're going to get two more SBC players this week, probably one of them today, and then maybe one of them on, like, you know, Monday or Tuesday as well. Uh, this is maybe the Gomez, I'm guessing. It could be Angel Gomez. I'm not entirely sure, but if this is his card... Uh, if this is the Gomez card, striker, left wing, left mid, a English player in league on four star, four star explosive with the outside foot flare and finesse shot. I mean, technical dribblers. Well, this is looking like a really nice card. So I hope it is Angel Gomez. I hope that's who this is. Um, you know, there's there's plenty of other Gomez's in the game, but that's just, I guess, my guess. We don't have a live Leal card yet, so EA Sports, if you're going to do that, drop that one today, that'd be nice. Or maybe it's going to be Rashika. Um, either of those two are in the code. So one of those, I would imagine, is going to drop today on this game. Again, if we get another striker SBC back-to-back -back days, um, you would worry a little bit, especially like Peter Crouch. I picked a Peter Crouch up, I mentioned, but be a little bit careful with cards like that if we're getting all these striker SBCs, people doing SBCs. 
SBCs, especially for live cards, for the upgrades, for that potential. Um, it's going to make some prices move on the market a bit more. So like I said, today's content hopefully will give us another opportunity to maybe buy into a few cards from the fantasy team one if you would like to do that. I think there's an opportunity there. There is still risk. And I know we've been talking a lot about like, oh my goodness, but birthday is on the horizon. People are going to panic for that. I do believe there is going to be panic. But again, we have to remember, these are live cards and live card hype is just crazy, right? It's just crazy on these games. It's crazy with these cards and the ones that are already starting to go up. If you see a dip in some prices today, that's why I really think today's content could play a role. Get an opportunity to buy in and then maybe sell them later on um, as you get closer to the weekend if you want to do some of that. So my coins right now, I've just got a couple flips going on. I still have the Fofanas. He is rising nicely. I got a Firmino on bid for 815. Don't know how I pulled that one off, but he has been down. I think it may have to do with Liverpool losing yesterday, even though, again, this card is not affected at all by the league games that are going on at the moment. So I picked that up. going to try to flip that. And then I bought a Nuno Menge. Uh, his card, I think maybe with Tagliafico, he was just down a little bit for some panic selling. I don't exactly know. Uh, but it's still a really good time to be flipping on this market. 340, 338. I picked one up at 308. He was down at like 315 and, and got undercut. So that's kind of where my coins are uh, at the moment. A little bit of fodder investment. Uh, I can even show you guys. I saw the Fofanas. I got the one crouch, like I mentioned. And uh, I, I did buy one shine at like 209. And then, yeah, I have some 91s, not very many. And then the Nuno Menge, which I'm going to list up. Take a quick flip off of that. Still a decent market to get on bids. Bids are really, really, really good right now uh, with just not as many people watching the market around the game. So that's enough blabbing from me. If you are excited for today's potential icon pack, if you're going to invest, drop me down below a comment on what you think you're going to invest in if you are going to go after some fodder at all. And if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Count. I'll see you guys today on stream. Oh, last thing. If you stuck around to the end of the video, I'm going to tweet about this here in a little bit so you're going to see it. But today's time change for the US of A. So if you're in North America, time change or anywhere else in the world where the time is changing today, um, just keep that in notes. Spring forward, right? So the content's going to be one hour later. Uh, for us because the UK time change does not happen for two weeks. So yeah, just keep that in mind uh, Especially today when you see me on stream about an hour and a half before the content drop Which is like early, right? So anyways, I'll see you guys on stream today. It's been Nathan for the count and catch you guys later. Peace out <laughs>